Hello everybody, this is Trainer Man and actually um, I'm here to show you how to use array tool for uh, make a, and actually copy a lot of con on your uh, target object you know um, also by the other way I wanna uh, make it better and create a uh, very good object with the help of array actually we we'll learn it and after that we will uh, use it in a project okay you can see uh, on the tool you can see array is here uh, but you know we have a problem selection set is empty uh, you, first of all when you want to use array uh, before uh, you must uh, choose a object it doesn't matter what's your object it's a light it's a key it's a 3d object it's a 2d object it doesn't matter what's that just you must choose a uh, object in your sin uh, so I created a simple box and I want to make it better and make it a lot copies a lot of count of this uh, choose it and go on tools and to <laughs> use array okay you can see here you can see uh, so many parameters here for example array uh, dimensions and array dimensions type of object and something like that uh, before that uh, when you want to make it better and use array uh, I suggest you use preview a preview is uh, show your uh, process before you apply it um, this is my object and I want to copy and make it a lot of copy of this object on the X or Z axis for example the Z axis is a height, uh, is a height and uh, you can see the Z is here the Z axis uh, you must choose a um, dimension and choose a number and value number for this axis for example I use it for 20 centimeters you can see and here you can see it's 10 counts and the number of count is 10 and it say and it means uh, on the Z axis whatever dimension you have applied um, will be count on 10 number okay the one two three four six seven eight nine ten you can see these are ten content uh, count of these objects so um, it's uh, on a special uh, axis actually it's individual and you want to make it a group and use it um, actually uh, use it together for um, copy this target object for example I want to use it on the uh, Y axis I we can put value number for example 10 centimeters and here is 20 you can uh, make a actually a relation with the help of these axes and make it on a uh, special um, point and area you can see I can also use it for example for example on 15 centimeters on X on 10 centimeters on Y and 20 centimeters on Z and actually here you can see uh, move rotate and escape um, these are a parameter of parameters of uh, move and if you want to rotate it you can use it these parameters on Z on rotate okay also another uh, axis you can see okay so it's move rotate and on scale and it means um, every step and it's going to be copy a lot of the, that now uh, it will be uh, smaller or, or bigger than the first timber you can see here for example uh, I put it on uh, 100 five one hundred five one hundred five okay you can see every uh, count and copy will be uh, bigger okay it's going to be bigger okay so simple and just uh, you can use it and it means and on the scale it means uh, every uh, single timber is going to be um, 
bigger and uh, actually um, aggregate uh, every single timber is going to be uh, bigger just five percentage of the that first position okay uh, just pay attention uh, here is a very important point for you you can say the uh, actually next to the preview button you can see display as box okay as uh, something uh, sometimes you can uh, fill it uh, your sin is so uh, actually uh, big and you can't do it because do this for a copy because your system and your PC or also your laptop uh, can't manage it and it will be crash so for um, make it better and uh, actually uh, disable that problem you must display use display as box actually it makes your your uh, object a light and it's okay actually on the array process you can see it's a box and then you can uh, choose it and make some uh, motion and something like that for your uh, object okay this array so uh, we're going to use it on a single project we want to make a, a spiral um, stairs just pay attention in, uh, and follow me I, I create a cylinder a little smaller a little big okay smaller height is more than okay and now uh, sorry make it on the center of this axis and create a simple timber and actually first um, model of my stairs actually in this project the um, actually units and dimension is not important for me I just want to use it okay I'm gonna make it array um, around this shaft and that's around this cylinder uh, so you can see if I use array I can't do that because you know I'm gonna rotate it going around this axis so we wanna uh, make it better and actually fix it go on I key and hierarchy and use affect pivot only and use a uh, Align, choose this. Oh, sorry, choose here. Line, actually, it's, this is uh, the box pivot on um, pivot point and the center of that. Uh, cylinder and the x and y axis apply, and now you can see it's done. And now you can see it's going to round and whole uh, around this this cylinder so I go on to array reset all parameters and again use it on the z axis okay this side is good little bit smaller or five okay now on z axis you must uh, rotate it for example every 30 no 20 degrees or a little more uh, smaller and a bit 12 11 10 7 okay it's good yeah a little big 10 is good and now increase the count okay so simple and just press okay 
We have created a simple stair, spiral stay with the hope of array 2. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube or on our website and share our tutorial. It's a very good tutorial. Um, I can say um, uh, when I was learning 3D Studio Max, uh, my first two uh, I learned uh, was array and uh, actually the stage was my a spiral stage was my first practice and my first uh, model I've created on 3D Studio Max so use it it's so helpful it has so many functions and I hope you enjoy and like it goodbye